original idea of the of the chuck wagon came to a retired officer and he came up with the idea of a freight wagon turned into a if you will a kitchen so they put a box on the back of it they hired uh, an individual that said he could cook and then they took out on the trail and it was the chuck wagon's job to find a camping spot every night and the cook would set up cap and start cooking when the cowboys came in hungry they would they would be fed a meal generally the meal was going to be a big pot of beans and some tortillas maybe a, a biscuit or two mighty good food then you're looking forward to dinner so the cook has got his access to some kind of a beef dish and they can make anything from from uh, beef tips to a chicken fried steak. And then the cook would put together maybe a, a dessert of a peach cobbler, maybe an apple cobbler. You can get as fancy as a Grand Marnier cherry cobbler with a cream cheese crust. When a cowboy was choosing which ranch he wanted to work for, he would ask who the cook was and how good the cook was. That was sometimes a deciding factor as to what ranch he wanted to work at. The cook was the first one up in the morning, three or four o'clock in the morning, get the fire going and get the, get the biscuits on, get the hot coffee going. And he was generally the first one to bed at night. The cowboys would kind of linger around by the fire, tell their to stories, play, few, play a few cards, and then they'd roll the bedrolls out under the stars and, and go to bed. The wagon was also home to all the cowboys. It was the cook's job to to doctor a sour stomach or if they had a cut they needed sewn up. We have needle and thread in here. We've got extra tobacco for the cowboys. When it came time for a haircut, Cookie would get up there and sit them up on a barrel and go to clipping their hair. Today, the chuck wagon is outfitted to cook for the cowboys that are out working on the ranch of today. And the cooks pretty much have anything they need in the box. Lots of cowboys and lots of ranches use them just because of a convenience. Some ranches have gone to pickup trucks, but all the good ranches are still using them and they're a very valuable item on the ranch. I've driven this wagon so many miles I can't count them. A couple weeks ago I was over in Arizona punching cows for a guy that that was moving his cattle down off the mountain and and he rode up next to me and he said, quite the life, isn't it? I feel that way about it. My mom said I was born 100 years too late.